Hello viewers, this is Ife Olu Otu Galu, aka Anya Galu, the Artistic Director of Afera Home of Creativity. Today, I am still going to make and say much on uh, what I said some, in some of my series about the introduction of this book, Gogo with Ease. It's a book on talking drum. I, uh, I wrote this book myself. Everything in this book is what I really want to put on video for everybody to see. Uh, starting from what this book entails, the contents of this book. Um, on this book, I'm going to go into um, everything in here on this video. It's going to be in series, of course. I cannot cover everything in this first lesson. So for people who are flair, who want to learn what Talking Drum is all about, who want to know what Talking Drum is all about, uh, they will have the opportunity, if they can get this book on the video, I think they will be able to get closer, if not the real thing of uh, on Talking Drum. Uh, on this book, we have um, the contents. Uh, the contents in this book are, in the first place, I tell you the parts that Talking Drum is made of, what Talking Drum is all about. Talking Drum is an instrument that talks, it's a percussion, it's a percussion instrument. Of course, in Africa, form of creativity, we do a lot of percussions. Like we teach people and we give them what they need about percussions. I Personally, as the artistic director, I love percussions. <laughs> On, this, on the contents of this book, we are going to introduce to you the parts that this um, talking drum is made of, the species, then the ways to handle it, where to put it if you are left-hander, where to put it if you are right-hander, and how to tune the theory that critics marks that are important. So far you get close to that, then you start forming your own rhythm. And now, to go deeply into this book, just wait and see what I'm going to put up next for you. We are going to the proper teaching now. Just hold on. Welcome back. Um, now, let's go properly into what we have in the book I introduced to you, Gangan with Ease, uh, published by my humble self, Ifeolu Otugalu, aka Ayan Galu, the artistic CEO of AfriRap Home of Creativity. Contact me on Facebook, AfriRap Home of Creativity, if you have any questions. This is Talking Drums. So, um, here with me is the beta, is the stick. Um, we call it Congo. We call it Congo because it is bent, you see? So here with me um, is the handle. This stays on your shoulder for this, kind of this type of drum. Even for the Yailu, which is bigger than this, that one is meant to be drawn. The um, handle still stays on the shoulder. We call it Akpailu. So it is the, um, the handle. So um, I'm starting from the face. This is the face. This is a skin, a goat skin, like a newly born goat, kid skin. So this is what we use to make this skin, and we call it ole. Then here at the edge, in westernized drums, we have the rim. We call it, we, we have the rim on the drums. Well, this one too is rim. We make this one the rim. But our own rim here in Yoruba, we call it eggy. So it is made of leather, and inside this we have some rags. And so it comes on the skin, it grips the skin. And what we use in holding this, the skin, the face, and the rim is also made of leather. So um, it's like a, a tread. So the tread, is, the tread is also made of skin. So here we have the ocean strings. We call these ones the strings because they actually help us to change the tune on talking drum. So they are strings. We call them strings. And in Yoruba, we call them ocean. So inside it, there is this hourglass shape that is inside this. On this hourglass shape, we have the front side and the back side being covered with skin. And we have the rim being made of leather. So all these comes together I mean, all these come together to form talking drum. In the first place, if you are a left-hander, you use left, the stick stays in your left hand, while the drum stays on your right shoulder. Yeah, still on the position, eh? as I've said, if you are a left-hander, the stick stays in your left hand, and while the drum comes on your right shoulder. And if you are a right-hander, the sticks come to your right 
hand and the drum stays on your what? Left shoulder. But for me, <laughs> as a player, this, the drum comes the other way. The drums, the drum rather comes the other way. So the drum comes to my right hand and the stick stays in my left hand. So if you are playing, this is what I want you to listen to. It's very not, this is how to play the talking drum. The first thing you have to know is the three diacritic marks. Do, Re, and Mi. The three diacritic marks of the Yoruba. You have to understand that if you are able to know that, then later in advanced study, you will be able to know that, okay, you want to add more, like the eight um, solver notations on, um, uh, in the music, the, the, the westernized music generally. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. So, but for now, being a talking drummer, you have to first, like as a beginner, you have to understand the three diacritic marks. Do, re, mi. They are all on the drum. I want you to see how it is being played. I told you if you are a left-hander, let the stick be on your left hand and the drum come, uh, comes on your right shoulder. And if you are a right-hander, the stick comes to your right hand, and this comes here. The drum comes to your what? The left shoulder. So see me as I play. Now, for, for you to know how to play this, you need to know the three diacritic marks. Do, re, mi. The first, the first three marks you have to understand. They are all on this drum. Now see, with do, there is no compression. Do, no compression. For re, easy compression. Just compress it a little. That's re. Then for me, extreme compression. So I do it. I'm going to do that again. No compression. Easy compression. Extreme compression. No compression. Easy compression. Soft compression. And extreme compression so it's did you see <laughs> can you see that let me take it again now no compression don't compress it soft compression then extreme compression do you see that now is do re mi do re mi do re mi do re mi so for the first lesson, I want you to understand that. Then mind you, while striking your drum, always make sure you are striking the center of the drum. Because if you play the rim shot just this way, you are going to rip off the skin. You will bust the drum. So it's better as a beginner, be calm enough to know how to strike first. Hold the stick this way, then strike. Do, 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 do. Don't be too um, add on it. Just hold it and like with soft mind and strike the center. So if you want to play the do, play this way. If you want to play the re, just compress easily. Soft. Then extreme compression. You know, the three sounds are different. That is that on that for the first lesson on how to play talking drum. Next series will actually be a surprise to you guys. I hope by the next time, by the next series we'll be making, you guys will be able to join me as I play because I'm going to start from this too. And from this do re mi, you can start forming up your rhythm like do re mi do re mi do re mi do re mi. That is a rhythm. Dun, 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 dun. So on the next lesson, I'll be happy to meet you guys and join me to know how to play talking drum. Bye.